Hey there, and thanks for watching today. I have an exciting video where I'm gonna be repressing my Benefit Rockateur blush. I have hit pan on this blush. You can see the waffle pattern. There's a lot of products still left in this container, but it's hard to get out, and I feel like I'm starting to, you know, have to really jam my brush into the corners to get the product out. So today I wanna to show you how I'm gonna be depotting this product and picking out the product from the little crevices, those little divots in the Benefit packaging and putting it in packaging that's a little easier to use and a little easier to use up. This is an old Becca package that I'd already used up, cleaned it with alcohol, so I'm gonna set that aside here. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take the product out with this Simply Beauty Project multitasker tool. I'll put a link down below. I, I did start a project panning tools store, uh, affordable project panning tools, and hopefully you'll go and check that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick out the product and put it right into the packaging here, the new packaging. Okay, what I've discovered here is that there's a little grate and I can pick out the grate using the tip of this tool, it has a curved edge. I'm just gonna pick this up <laughs> and I'm gonna put this over here on a paper towel and I'll get the remaining product out of that in just a minute. But there's still a lot of blush here that's left over. This is actually glue right here. I'm just gonna kind of gently scrape that blush off the glue, and there's that packaging there. Put that aside, and just poke out the blush. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this makeup press that I've designed and I'm gonna kind of push everything into the center and just kind of tap it down. I'm also gonna mush it up a little bit using the beauty spatula. The Jolly powder consistency is a little harder to work with than a regular powder when repressing, so this will be a fun experiment <laughs> to share with you and see how this turns out. I'm gonna take some 70% isopropyl alcohol and do a few drops and then try to have all the product in the center. I think it's gonna need a little more alcohol. Poured quite a bit in. There we go, it's starting to get into that wet consistency. What I like to do is try to push everything towards the center. Next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press it with a paper towel and the makeup press. Just pressing out that excess alcohol. This is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna press another paper towel into it to get any excess alcohol out again. This time I'm pressing pretty firmly against the product. And 
And then one more. Here's the back of this paper towel. I'm just gonna press down. I didn't add any jojoba oil this time just because of the Jilly formula. I wasn't sure how it would turn out, so I did not add any. And I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then check in with you and show you the final product. It's been 24 hours, the blush is dry, and it looks really good so far. It's packed in there pretty well, aside from this little side here where there's a little loose powder. It looks good, let's see if it comes off on my finger. Yep, picking up product pretty well using my finger. Let's see what it looks like when I use a blush brush. Yep, it's picking up product. So that's good and no hard pan yet. It's been five days since I repressed the Benefit Rockator blush into new packaging and I'm really happy with the results. I've used it twice so far and I'm able to pick up product just fine. It's a lot easier than using the box blush packaging and having to really ram my brush in there. But super happy with how this turned out. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this demo and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.